I love color grading, but sometimes it's hard to figure out which look to go with. Maybe this, or this, or how about all these? Well today, I'm gonna show you how to manage that a little bit easier. Hey guys, Nathan here. What is up? So today is all about time management with regards to color grading in DaVinci Resolve. I'm also gonna make some looks that you can download as LUTs for free down in the description as my way of saying thank you for supporting this channel. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed for lots more content like this. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and everything today can be done in the free version. Now we just had this clip, my fiance walking down some railroad tracks and let's just start by getting things normalized a little bit. So we're gonna bump up the contrast and let's bring up that saturation, sure. Now to get white balance, this is just super simple. Literally, that door looks white, perfect. Okay, so now that we're balanced, I'm just gonna, let's say we make a quick bleach bypass look. So I'm gonna add a layer node. We're gonna put this top one, make it black and white, go over here to our composite mode and overlay it. And then let's just bump up the saturation on this lower node a bit. Great. Uh, let's bring down the output on this black and white part. Let's go to 0.7. Sure. So now we definitely have a distinct look, you know, the bleach bypass look, popular with a lot of war movies. But let's say we want to maybe go with something else. So there's a couple ways we could go about that. Now we could just make a still and have the color data saved to that, but I want to show you another method. So we're going to go in here, we're going to right click on the clip, and we're going to click local versions and create new version. I already have this one named Bleach Bypass. So we're gonna create a new one and let's call this cross process. Because we're gonna do a cross process. And I'll show you what that is. So now nothing changed. Well, if we right click here, you can see we're on the version cross process. So we can go in and let's just delete everything as part of the look. We're gonna keep the same balance and let us, let's say, let's go crazy with the mid-tone detail and then let's do our little cross process here. We're just gonna go into our curves, bump up the red in our higher end and bring it down in our lower end. I'm just gonna balance out my shadows. Boom, just that easy. Now we have another kind of distinct look. So let's zip that, let's zip width. So it's another very distinct look, but what we can do is if we right click, you can then go boom and load up Bleach Bypass. Another way to quickly do that, if you click Control B on your keyboard or Command B on Mac, you have the two looks right there, easy peasy. But let's say you have to send it off to someone to get approval. Well, what we can do is we can just go over down here and click Split Screen. We're gonna turn that on and now we have both different versions up there and the really cool thing is let's say we want to work on one, we can just double click on it, it's right up there. We're working the other, we can do that, and we can export this as a still, and then send it off to the client for review. But you can do even more. Let's toss a few more looks in there. So now we have a few different looks. We got the cross process, kind of a teal look, a little more blue, and back to the bleach bypass. So we can go in, click our split screen on for the version, great. Now we have all the different versions and we can select that. But what if your client's like, no, I can't deal with just the still, I need a rendered clip. So now you're gonna have to go in and render each one individually? No, 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 check this out. So we're gonna go into the deliver page and it doesn't matter which default you select, but just for kicks, I'll go with H.264 master. We're then going to click individual clips and whatever you wanna change here, that's fine. But the real important part, you go into file and you click use commercial workflow. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to render out each one of those versions you have into whatever folder you select. So then you have all of them rendered with the press of one button and it's just that easy. So let's do it. Now for me, I like to use unique file names and I just wanna go with the prefix. Um, for the location, you can just save it to wherever you want in your hard drive. For me, I'm just gonna go to railroad versions, boom. Now, add to render queue and start the render. 
you can see it's doing each clip individually and it's rendering them all out as their own files. So if we go into File Explorer and we look at our railroad versions, there it is. There's one, there's two, and you get the idea. The other ones are just in their own folders and you can name whatever you like and send them off to your client so they have a good idea of the color grade that you're coming up with. So anyway guys, I hope that helps with your time management for color grading and you get to make lots of awesome stuff. So I've left download links for the LUTs that I made in this video uh, down there in the description. And anyway, yeah, so be sure to hit that like button and get subscribed for lots more content like this. Anyway, have yourself a good one.